the James Webb Telescope has captured yet another image that suggests something is seriously amiss with our understanding of the universe. Either space itself is behaving unpredictably, suggesting some form of intelligence, or our scientific models have been fundamentally flawed. Since the launch of the telescope, the field of cosmology has entered a crisis unlike any we've seen before. The new discoveries seem to be signaling something urgent yet scientists have been slow to offer clear answers. Is this the beginning of the end for our current understanding of the cosmos? Everything changed when the JWST revealed images of galaxies so ancient and perfect that they shouldn't even exist. This discovery has sparked ongoing debates in the scientific community, with more findings continuing to challenge long-held assumptions. The universe, particularly its early stages, doesn't seem to behave as scientists had expected. The idea that the universe is homogeneous, that its large structures are uniformly distributed, has come under serious scrutiny, with evidence suggesting otherwise. Historically, cosmology assumed a homogeneous universe, a principle grounded in early 20th century theories. In the general theory of relativity, when Einstein first applied his equations to the entire universe, he encountered an unexpected problem. The equations predicted a dynamic, ever-changing universe, one that should either be expanding or contracting. At the time, this idea seemed counterintuitive to both Einstein and the broader scientific community, as the prevailing belief was that the universe was static and unchanging. In order to reconcile his theory with the widely accepted notion of a stationary universe, Einstein introduced an additional term into his equations known as the cosmological constant. This constant acted as a kind of repulsive force, counterbalancing the attractive force of gravity and maintaining a steady, unchanging universe. The cosmological constant allowed for a static universe that neither expanded nor contracted a model that aligned with the scientific understanding of the early 20th century. However, later discoveries showed that the universe is dynamic, with space constantly in motion. Over time, the prevailing model evolved to support an expanding universe, leading to the belief in its homogeneous and isotropic nature, meaning that on a large scale, it looks the same in every direction. Yet, recent discoveries by the James Webb Space Telescope along with other observations, have revealed that the universe may not be as uniform as once thought. For instance, one side of the sky contains 0.5% more quasars than the other, further challenging the idea of an even distribution of matter. Additionally, two massive cosmic structures, the Big Ring and the Giant Arc, are so vast they defy the scale on which the universe should be homogeneous. These findings suggest that the universe might resemble a varied landscape with cosmic mountains and valleys, rather than an endless desert of uniformly distributed matter. Other indications of this heterogeneous universe stem from the differing rates at which the universe expands, known as the Hubble tension. This tension arises from the fact that there are two primary methods of measuring the expansion rate of the universe and these methods yield conflicting results. The first method involves observing nearby galaxies and calculating their velocities as they move away from us, which is based on the redshift of their light. These measurements provide a value for the rate of expansion that suggests a relatively fast expansion rate of the universe. The second method, however, uses measurements from the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, or CMB, which is the afterglow of the Big Bang. By analyzing the CMB, scientists can infer the universe's expansion rate during its early stages, around 380,000 years after the Big Bang. This approach provides a slower expansion rate compared to the measurements based on nearby galaxies. This discrepancy between the two expansion rates, one from the local universe and the other from the early universe, has been coined the Hubble tension. The conflict between these two values is significant enough that it cannot be easily explained by errors in measurement. As a result, 
it has become one of the most pressing challenges in modern cosmology. This discrepancy raises the possibility that the universe isn't expanding uniformly, potentially due to unseen cosmic obstacles. The James Webb Space Telescope has also confirmed these tensions, showing that some areas of the universe may be expanding at different rates. This calls into question the uniformity suggested by the cosmic microwave background radiation, which had previously been thought to show an even distribution of matter dating back to the Big Bang. In the past, scientists believed the universe's expansion was occurring in an empty space, but recent theories suggest that our universe may be expanding into a space where other structures, possibly even other universes or dimensions, already exist. This would explain why the universe seems less homogeneous than initially thought. As the universe encounters these obstacles, it could create the inconsistencies we're observing. Although these ideas remain speculative, some researchers have likened the development of the universe to that of planets. Earth, for example, started as a homogeneous ball of matter, but over time evolved into a heterogeneous planet with continents, oceans, and mountain ranges. In a similar way, the universe may have started out homogeneous but has developed complex, uneven structures as it expands. Another hypothesis regarding the source of the Hubble tension is that dark energy, the mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe, may not be evenly distributed across space. Dark energy is thought to make up about 68% of the universe's total energy density and its uniformity has long been assumed in cosmological models. However, recent observations and the persistence of discrepancies in measuring the universe's expansion rate have led some scientists to question whether dark energy might be heterogeneous, varying in strength across different regions of space. In the standard model of cosmology, dark energy is represented by the cosmological constant which is considered to have a constant value throughout the universe. This implies that the force causing the universe's accelerated expansion is uniform, pushing galaxies apart at an equal rate everywhere. However, if dark energy were not uniform, but instead varied in strength depending on location, it could produce regions of faster or slower expansion, thereby influencing the local rate of cosmic growth. For instance, in regions where dark energy is stronger, the repulsive force would cause space to expand more rapidly, accelerating the motion of galaxies and contributing to a higher observed expansion rate. Conversely, in areas where dark energy is weaker, the expansion rate would be slower. These fluctuations in the strength of dark energy could manifest as variations in the measured Hubble constant depending on whether the measurement is taken in a region of higher or lower dark energy density. There are several potential explanations for why dark energy might not be uniformly distributed. One possibility is that dark energy could interact with dark matter, the unseen substance making up roughly 27% of the universe's total mass energy content. If such an interaction exists, it might vary across different regions, causing dark energy to cluster or dissipate unevenly. This, in turn, could lead to localized differences in the expansion rate. Another speculative idea is that dark energy could be associated with a dynamic field, such as the quintessence model, which was developed by cosmologists Ratra and Peebles in 1988. In this model, dark energy is not a constant but a slowly evolving scalar field that changes over time and space. Unlike the cosmological constant, which is fixed, quintessence would allow for dark energy to have different values in different locations, producing varying expansion rates across the universe. This scenario would have profound implications for our understanding of cosmic evolution. If dark energy varies in strength across space, it could affect how galaxies and large-scale structures form and evolve. Regions with stronger dark energy would see galaxies moving apart more quickly, potentially leading to lower rates of galaxy clustering. Conversely, in regions with weaker dark energy, 
galaxies might remain more tightly bound, allowing for greater clustering in a more densely populated cosmic landscape. The discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope are forcing us to rethink our understanding of the universe. The old cosmological models are showing cracks, and we may have to accept that even the fundamental forces of the universe evolve and change over time. This new frontier in science is both thrilling and daunting, as it pushes the boundaries of what we thought we knew about the cosmos. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one about the mysteries of the universe.